It just feels pointless. Am I normal? Does everyone just plug along and end up hating their jobs? You've changed your major, what, three times now? Four. I see. And this makes you feel that you don't have a purpose because you haven't found a course of study that interests you? I guess so. Yeah. Mm. Kevin, I have an idea for your research paper. strong, just the way I like it. How long have you been interested in the medical field? Well, my aunt is a nurse. When I was six, I wanted to be exactly like her. One time I broke my arm when I fell off my bike, and she helped put the cast on. It's just so cool, you know, helping people like that. Like an everyday superhero or something. Have you ever thought of doing something else? Skydiving instructor. <laughs> but then I'd probably break my arm again doing some crazy hair stunt. <laughs> but you didn't go to college. I told you, classes just don't work for me. After high school, I found an artist who coaches me privately. Now I sell my stuff at craft fairs and specialty shops. Do you ever get discouraged? Sure. Doesn't everyone? So, what I'll do is uh, I'll paint it, then I'll paint about joy right over the top. It helps me, and I hope it helps others too. <laughs> that is amazing. I know, right? And so the judge dismissed the case right there. Two months of prep work, and we didn't even have to fight it in court. Now, that, my friend, is how it's done. So, what made you decide that you were suited for law? Uh, it was my dad's idea, actually. Did he make you do it? I never said he made me do it. Mom said it has to be military, law, or business. So, me and my dad decided... I decided to try law. I'm gonna go grab some more coffee. Can I get you anything? No. No? It was my first piano lesson. That's when I fell in love with music. And I just knew that's what God had called me to do. Share his gift and miracle of music with others. But when I picked up the violin, that is when I really hit my stride. So how long have you been playing? Let me see. 14 years now. And you still practice five hours a day. <laughs> you make it sound like torture. I won't say that I never get tired. But I will say that it's worth it. Any time that I spend doing what God has called me to do is never wasted. Decided to stick with sales, though. Good with numbers and with people, too. It's a good fit. So if you had a good paying job before, why'd you start your own business? Honestly? To save my marriage. See, in sales you work for commission. So to earn more means longer hours, more business trips, and I started to lose touch with my wife. Long distance doesn't work well for us. But with my online store, even if I get a lot of orders, I'm doing the work from home. Sometimes Renee even helps me pack the boxes. To make sure I'm doing it right, she says, but I think she's a little OCD myself. My sister is the same way. So, how many people have you interviewed so far? Counting you, 23. Wow, you're really dedicated. Are you going to write a book? Some of the kids in my class want to be authors one day. At least, since we started reading aloud from Charlotte's Web. I guess you can't beat talking spiders and pigs. <laughs> so is working daycare your dream job? I worked in a Christian orphanage in Romania 
for a year uh, right out of high school. It was the most rewarding experience of my life. Well, that is incredible. But last November, um, my, my mom died. So I came back home for a while. I plan to go back someday, though. Daycare is as close as it gets for now, except, you know, most of the kids speak English. The usual? Yeah, I guess so. No victim today? Relax, I'm teasing. Right, sorry. No, I'm sorry. Do you mind if I ask what the project is all about? I'm writing a paper on how people choose the jobs that they do and how they find satisfaction in their work. What have you found? It may have as much to do with your motivation as it does with the details. What do you mean? All these people, the ones that seemed happy with their jobs, they'd all found something that used their skills to serve God and help others. Even the girl at the coffee shop. She was telling me she did dog walking for a while because it allowed her more flexibility to volunteer at her church. Interesting. So has this helped clarify your purpose at all? I think it's starting to.